What we learned, the breaking news, the big news, the extraordinary news, was that President Obama, uh, in his meeting two days after the election in November with Donald Trump, told him uh, something to the effect of, don't, don't bring the, General Flynn into your administration, or I don't like General Flynn, or I'm not high on General Flynn, whatever. And now the media is making it sound like, oh my God, how did he go against that warning? So I know you tweeted out about this, which we'll get to in a second, but what's your, your take on this whole thing? I mean, President Obama is entitled to uh, recommend to President-elect Trump that you know, General Flynn didn't have the temperament or whatever. Obviously, Obama had fired him and didn't agree with him. Flynn had been a vociferous critic of President Obama's foreign policy. So it just seems to me – I mean, I'm not critical of Obama for saying it. The idea that they would leak it out this morning, though, in conjunction with the Yates testimony to somehow show that Trump – uh, didn't ignore Obama's warning. Uh, there's no evidence, and no one's saying that President Obama warned him that Trump had, that Flynn had illegitimate contacts, presumably with the Russians or whatever. That would be, you know, interesting if true. But that there's no evidence of that. So the general warning against Flynn that doesn't really count for much. So, so what do you think about the timing? What are they trying to accomplish by leaking it out with a with the willing media, of course? Yeah, I think what they're trying to do is, of course. You know, elevate uh, Yates' testimony this afternoon. We'll see what she really has to say. But um, I don't know. I think a lot of this. Look, I mean, I think Flynn was a foolish appointment. I give Trump credit for seeing that. Uh, maybe we just got lucky if he was forced to see it because he misled Vice President Pence. I think McMaster is a much better national security advisor. Um, I'm pretty optimistic about him as national security advisor. But this is like this is the problem with the liberals. There are plenty of legitimate things they can criticize, in my opinion, about Donald Trump. Uh, or about Republican policies, but they so there's so much in their own bubble. They think that the fact that President Obama might have said something to Donald Trump two days after the election uh, about a man who had been so critical of President Obama uh, that that the Trump was gonna, should have taken that advice is just childish. I think.